Hey, what's up, everybody? Ace Fangirl here, and welcome back to another episode of Holiday Star Blind. Last time, we went to the restaurant that the king wanted us to investigate, and uh, we found out that Chu was actually running the restaurant, and he was basically killing people. What else is new, am I right? Uh, so we solved that mystery. I think I beat him up, which was admittedly very satisfying after I died one time. And, uh, we were gonna go talk to the king, but then he showed up and was like, Yo, I have another quest for you. And I was like, Yo, okay, more time with my boyfriend. So now we're gonna go stop a garden from exploding. Where do you think this explosive garden is, exactly? I don't know, I just asked you, bro. Maybe. And this time, we might not know it even if we see it. We should have we should have gotten the king to show us the way. Oh. Oh no, are we too late? Oh, we're too late. Can we go back in time? Mageki, look! A crowd of panicking citizens trying to run away from something. Like rats from a burning sewer pipe. Okay, interesting analogy, D, there, but okay. <laughs> Sorry! Yeah, that's probably true, but I think we might be too late. Oh, no. This looks unfortunate. Sakuya? Hey, babe! How you doing? <laughs> I like your little fancy scarf. He would be her. I don't know. Sakuya! Huh? Didn't something like this happen a few weeks ago? <laughs> oh, the Christmas tree. That's what they're referencing. That's true. It is very nice. And poor Sakia, he gets to be the vo the bombing victim even in Dreamland. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh no, we gotta help. Oh, so he's hosting a tea party here? Jeez, he should have invited me too. Though I'm not a celebrity. Do you know who did this? Great. It's probably the Christmas thieves again, huh? Weird. That's some awfully meticulous terrorism for a fairy tale world. Have you already made enemies who would want to ruin your name on this place or this planet, Sakia? Um. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're kind of right. Very true. I think Sakia's snobby, aristocratic attitude can make him all kinds of enemies within the space of a single conversation. But then again. None of the people here seem particularly short-tempered. Yeah, no, really, I have no idea. Hmm, maybe they have some other far-reaching motive that I accidentally clicked enter before I could finish reading that. What? 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 Oh, great. Oh, ha help, help, I'm a helpless girl, please protect me. I didn't see that, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh-oh. Wow, more holes! <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, that's right! Come out and fight us like men! Wait. Someone's coming through the hole? <gasps> hey there, babe. I was hoping you were gonna show up. Um, oh, I am... Hi. Yes. You have! I'm sorry, I wish you could have arrived sooner. I mean, I thought this was my dream. I guess I can't control it. You, yeah. You blushing. Hi! Yeah, this is my dream. I think. Oh, it wasn't him. Oh, it was him. Just kidding. <laughs> oh no. Stop it, Saki, leave him alone. He just wanted to get to me. I'm sure. <laughs> the entrance to the garden? There's a gate right there. Yeah, Yuya. Why'd you have to do all this? Because he was just so desperate to get to me, duh. Oh, is that your job? Is your job blowing things up? Because I'm down. I think that's kind of hot. Saki. Me? Oh, Sakia. No, 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 babe! Come, what? He disappeared. No, babe, come back, I miss you. 
He just fell into the hole. Oh no, can we help him? Yuya! Are you alright? There's no reply. It's just a hole. What was that all about? <sighs> Sakia, you are so mean. I wonder where he went. So maybe he's in Wonderland? <laughs> oh, poor baby. Can we jump down after him? I would. It looks like the exploding garden is just Yuya engaging in a little accidental terrorism while trying to find the entrance. Do you think that's all, Nageki? But he's here! I mean, I'm on a date with Nageki. Sorry, Yuya. Yes, quest complete. On to the next one. Bye, babe, I love you. And so we solved another one of the king's problems. We have been here for a while. Time always does pass strangely in dreams. You can have a dream that seems like it lasts for months in a single ten minute nap after all, right? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, actually, real talk, me neither. I don't usually remember my dreams. Oh, do ghosts dream at all? Oh. Is that so? Oh no! It's Ryota's dad! Mr. Migrant! God, his music is so good! Um... Well, it kind of blew up, so... I'm dancing to the music right now. Everyone dance. Speaking of Ryota, we haven't seen Ryota yet. Wow, this music is loud. I said I wasn't going to touch the volume this time. I keep making myself that promise and not keeping it. The garden got targeted by a terrorist attack. I think it was for celebrities anyway, so I guess as ratty as you would probably have gotten thrown out. Wow, I am rude AF. Yeah. Cheer up, mister. Common people like us are indomitable. The cruel upper classes can tread on us and grind us into the dirt, but we'll always spring back up like weeds. Aww. No, oh, Nageki hands the migrant three strip with you. Sorry. You got them? What? Great. Wow, why didn't you get me any diamonds, Nageki? Come on. Yeah. Aww, Nageki's so nice. Okay, if we ever get in trouble, hopefully he'll come and help us out, yeah? The self-styled migrant jauntily flutters away. Just a little. I agree. I bet whenever he goes to the store, the thing he's looking for is sold out. I am so mean today. I hadn't realized there were sugar cubes floating in the Milky Way, though. If I'd have known, I would have looked for them while we were on the train. What did Is everyone ignoring the fact that he just said there were diamonds? Where to next? Hmm. Yeah, we should probably find the king, yeah? Oh, there he is. Never mind. Speak of the devil. Hello there. Oh, now we got the king music, which is quiet. He's here. The, yep, um, unfortunately. <laughs> Though there are a lot of holes in the garden now. Oh no, he's sad. I'm sorry. Oh, no, he's not. He's relieved. That is true. Huh? What just happened to the king's head? Did I just imagine that? Yeah, I thought I saw something weird. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark? Woo! Shiny! We got a shiny. Ah, it's so pretty! And blue! What's it called? Oh, it's Laps Lazuli. Or Lazuli. I'm actually really not sure. I've heard both ways. He really does know everything. Soon. Oh, there's more. Alright. Fire away, Highness. Oh, yeah, maybe, I guess. Shush! I always get to play the heroine. Should I? Oh, no. Oh, no. Rain? Yeah, what about an umbrella? Can we just make you one? Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Mount Pudding. I don't want to go to Mount Pudding. Mount Pudding? I know who will meet there already. Oh, can it do that? I don't know, this is space. Gravity's probably weird. 
And will it be a problem if the palace gets wet? Yeah? What happens? Look, okay, look, 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 look. Look at his head right there. He has a little thing on it. What is that? Is that a baby or something? I don't know. It's kind of weird. The king's already crying. He, he had another head just now, didn't he? Jesus, King Music, calm down. But he looks normal now, I think. It must have been my imagination. <laughs> the heroine in the J-pop song or shoujo manga might do something like that. Maybe the king is a delicate maiden at heart? Don't worry, your highness. I will protect your fragile heart from the cruel weather. To Mount Pudding! Don't sound so excited. Here we go. After a long and perilous journey over valleys and mountains, hill and dale, through dungeons deep and caverns... Wait a minute. That was a Lord of the Rings reference. Uh, that's, that's in The Hobbit, I think. I did that show when I was in high school. <laughs> I don't remember the song, just kidding. Uh, Nageki and I arrive at Mount Pudding. Wow, this is nice. It looks delicious. Yeah, really, though. It's actual, legit pudding. Looking at it, it... Well... I really can't think of any name other than Mount Pudding. Uh-oh. Look who it is! Surprise, surprise! Oh, Brioth is here, too! Oh, good. What? Do I even want to know why Ryota's is dressed as a nun and Saki is dressed as a thing? Okasan! I knew we'd see him here. I thought Okasan would be here, but I hadn't quite expected you, Ryota. Everyone dance. Hi, babe! How you doing? Yeah, yeah, we're together, kind of, but I mean, I still love you. <laughs> oh, hey, don't sound so negative about it. We're having a great time, I think. Oh, he knows we're together. We arrived on the same train. We're a dynamic duo, aka dating, on the quest for the king. What about you? A voter is a pudding. I'm so sorry. And the role comes with a new costume. This time he gets to be a nun. I'm so confused. So that means Okusan is... Of course. You don't know how right you are. Incidentally, what does he need those things on his back for? Yeah, really though. Uh oh, yeah, the rain is coming, we knew that. Yeah, why are we panicking? Oh no, not the pudding. Sounds like the rain would be a problem for you too, Okasan. That's true. Okasan, no. Okasan, no. Okasan, no. Seriously. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's all put our heads together. We can think of something. The clouds are coming from the summit. Let's climb the mountain and see what's up there, Nageki. Alright, is everyone coming? Whoa! Whoa! What in the world was that? Ah, that was more of a climb than I expected. I never realized pudding was this hard to climb up. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, it kind of was. Are you doing okay, Nageki? You didn't get tired? Oh, good. Oh. Yeah, I guess. That makes sense. This... This is the true separator of birds and men. Well, we're at the top. What is it? What the... It's like... In the Inugami clan. N Nagaki, what do we do? This isn't a fairy tale, it's a murder mystery. It's... I'm not... I'm sorry. Sukikio. That must be the thing they were talking about spoiling. The corpse upside down in the water was a diversion by the real cor culprit. Okay, so this is the thing they were talking about spoiling, probably, at the beginning. People get it mixed up all the time, but Inugami Suki Sukikio wasn't the man in the white mask or the corpse in the water. So this is what the spoiler warning was for. But even with a warning, it's bad form to go telling people the answer to 
answers to puzzles and mysteries, Nageki. Don't do that. That's true. We should help him. Right, you take one leg, I'll take the other. Let's pull him out. Who is it? Oh! Hey there, teacher. Wow, he's covered in caramel. He's like a walking ant trap. Um, we've been bumping into people who were at the observation so far, so... You're Mr. Nanaki, right? Well, I'm Nemo. Nemo? So your name is Nemo? Um... Like, Finding Nemo? Oh no, don't... Hey, Nageki, don't you think the rain's getting a little heavier? Uh-oh, it's because he's sad. Right? We need to help him find what he's looking for. How poetic. Swoon. So to get rid of the clouds, maybe we need to solve Nemo's problem. What are you looking for, Mr. Nemo? We'll help you find it. Yeah. We can help. You've lost your name. Your, your name? Hence Nemo. <laughs> Like finding Nemo, lol, probably. How do you lose your own name? That's true. What does your name look like? Um. I'll ask the questions here, Bob. Oh. What? Oh. Ew. Why did you. What? I'm confused. Nageki, every time Tsukikiyo here opens his mouth, he does terrible, terrible things to our fairy tale atmosphere. Everything he says is way too surreal. That's true. That is very true, actually. Hmm, we can't see anything through this caramel sauce. Do I just so happen to be carrying any convenient tools perfectly suited to the job? Um... Nageki, I have a pond fishing set with me. Of course. Doesn't your tumbly, tumbly, tummy ever get the rumblies that only raw, raw pond smelt can cure? I can honestly say no. No. No one ever understands me. <laughs> anyway, maybe we can catch Mr. Nemo's name with this. Maybe. I mean, it's worth a try. Oh no! Stop raining. I got something. I've got something! I don't know. What is it? Hang on, I'll have it up in a second. Ha! Huh. Look! An early Alice! Mr. Nemo, your name is Early Alice! Oh. Okay. Fine. Oh well. <laughs> Guess there's nothing for it. Catch, release, and try again! Yep. A bite! This is a big one! Oh, thanks, Nagaki. Please do. Gah! We got it! This is... Everbearing Alexandria. This has got to be referencing something. Mr. Nemo, Mr. Nemo! Your name is Everbearing Alexandria. No? Oh, are we catch catching strawberries? Beggars can't be choosers, Mr. Nemo. Jeez, how stubborn can you get? Nageki and I continue fishing for a while, but we only ever catch strawberries. Just what is Mr. Nemo's name? Don't start feeling down, Mr. Nemo. You'll make the rain worse. Yeah, we could give you a new name. A new name for Mr. Nemo? Would that solve the problem? What? That's all we needed to do? A new name, a new name. How about Late Lucy? Early Rosie? Oh, I guess those- are those names of strawberries? I'm not sure- oh no, I got stuck in strawberry mode by accident. Um, hmm. I can't think of anything. What about you, Nageki? Yeah, I mean, you're pretty cool. It was your idea, right? 
you could probably come up with a better one than I could anyway. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, the feels! <laughs> They're coming! Okay, so, before I say anything more, I'm going to tell you, I probably should have said it before, but I didn't know it was coming, stop here, or don't listen to any of this, um, if you haven't played Bad Boys Love yet, because this is a spoiler, uh, for Bad Boys Love, honestly. Uh, God, I'm, like, almost gonna cry. Um, so, in Bad Boys Love, I don't even know if I want to explain it, because, just, if you haven't played or watched my playthrough of Bad Boys Love, just stop here for a second and just skip all this until I go to the next slide page thing. But Hitori is um, Mr. Nanaki's real name, and it's uh, because he is Nagaki's brother. And he came to St. Nations to try and find uh, what happened to Nagaki a long time ago, and he saw Nagaki uh, kill himself with the fire that he started in the basement and he's kind of been here ever since for my recollection and uh god this sucks and then the music and it's just not okay it's not okay Hitori that's an odd name God. The feels. <laughs> Is he gonna remember? Oh, frick. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not a bird. Uh, what is it? Ooh, shiny. Ah, another pretty stone. Cool. Oh, oh he's gonna go sleep. The thoroughly carameled Hitori, the Nemo, happily leaves the mountain. That's good. The king is probably shaking and crying in his castle right about now. Let's go give him the good news. And we will go give him the good news next time on Hatch for Boyfriend Blind. In the meantime, I'm going to go cry. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!